Alright, sorry about the wobbly video, it's the stand, it should go away here in a minute or two. Alright, after I made my last video on um, playing Super Smash Brothers on your iPad, I got quite a few comments and several emails asking me to make a tutorial on how exactly I did it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today. But before I do, let me explain to you some key differences on what has changed from the previous video. First of all, I updated my graphics card from an ATI graphics card to an NVIDIA graphics card and it made quite a noticeable difference on the performance of the streaming. And the reason for that is because with NVIDIA, this program Splashtop, which we're going to use to stream the game, it's what's called what they refer to as um, GeForce Optimized, which means that it, it gets better frame rate, it gets less lag, and you're able to play games and watch videos in full screen mode. And I mean, you guys can go back and look at my other video, it, it's quite a noticeable difference. But if you guys have an ATI graphics card, I mean, you guys can still follow along with this video and you'll still be able to duplicate the, the same thing I'm doing now, except for the fact that, of course, the NVIDIA graphics cards are going to make the game look nicer. And if you guys have an ATI graphics card and want to see the difference, just watch my previous video and you guys will, will be able to see, you know, if that performance is to your liking and whether you should go ahead and do it or not. Okay, but for the first thing you guys are going to need is this program called Splashtop. Let's go to the app store so you guys can see what it looks like. Alright, so that's it right there, and like I said, all this program does is it streams from your PC to your iPad. And I'm using an iPad 3, by the way. Though, I mean, any iPad should work, I'm assuming. I've even tried this on an iPhone, and it works too, though. It works a little better on the iPad. Okay. So right here is the program Splash Off. Let's go ahead and open it. Now, here's one other thing. If you guys have an ATI graphics card, you can go to SplashTop.com and download the latest... Um, installer that they have for it but if you guys have an NVIDIA graphics card just hold on before you do that and let me show you which one to install first because with this specific version it will allow you to get that GeForce optimization and get better frame rates so let's go ahead and open that up that's gonna go to our computer right there and here we are so that is my desktop let me show you guys so that's my computer right there Okay, so like I was saying, if you guys have an NVIDIA graphics card on your PC, right after you download the Splashtop program to your iPad, you are going to want to download this specific version of Splashtop. And the reason for that is pretty much what it says right there. If you guys want to go ahead and read that, that users will notice that their videos, movies, games, and other graphics intensive content will be even more lag free and smoother because of this. Oops, sorry, let's zoom out right there, a little GeForce optimization. And these are the requirements for your NVIDIA graphics card in order for this to work. The only thing that I could see problems with people having is having an SLI configuration. If for some reason it won't work, if you have that set up, so all you guys gotta do is disable the SLI. Shouldn't be too hard at all. So anywho, the link will be in my description, but it's right here if you guys just wanna see. If you guys freaking just hit return it allows you to download the specific version 2.4.0.3 also make sure that your NVIDIA graphics cards are their drivers are up to date alright so after you guys go ahead and do that and download it to your PC and install it you'll be able to stream like I'm doing right now okay so first step is done the second step we're gonna want to do is download the Dolphin emulator which lets you play I believe uh, GameCube and Wii games and that is going to be right here. It's on this website. Again, it'll, this is all going to be in the description. And it looks like this. And the requirements for playing the Dolphin emulator are right here. Pretty simple. You're going to need a pretty decent CPU and a pretty decent GPU. Pretty, in other words, pretty decent graphics card. And you will download it from here. Make sure to download the latest version too. The other thing you're going to need, of course, is the game. I'm not going to show you guys where to get the game from. All you guys got to do is Google Wii or GameCube ISO. It'll be like one of the first ones on Google. You guys can figure it out. And if you can't, feel free to email me or make a comment, and I'll try to get back to you guys. And after you guys download the Dolphin emulator, it's going to look like this. Extracted and everything. This is going to be the files right here. Okay, but before we go ahead and actually get to opening up the Dolphin emulator, if you guys want to play the game with the 360 controller, let me go ahead and turn it on, you guys are going to need this. 
and they sell it on Amazon. I've even seen it at Best Buy, and it's pretty cheap. It's a wireless gaming receiver for the Xbox 360. It pretty much allows you to play at any Xbox 360 controller on your PC. I, I, I bought mine at Best Buy, and it came with a controller, so it was like 60 bucks. But again, I mean, it came with a controller, so it wasn't too bad. All right, then. So after you guys have all that together, let's get to playing the game. So here's the Dolphin emulator after you've extracted the files and everything. And this is what the ISOs look like. They're right there. And they're pretty easy to get. All you guys got to do is Google it and make sure you guys own the original game to support the developers and whatnot. So let's go ahead and open it. So we'll open Dolphin Emulator. And your ISOs will show up right there. If they don't, just hit refresh. And it'll show up. It should um, show up all the ISOs that you have in the same folder as a GameCube emulator. Another thing you guys might want to do is go to graphics and you see where it says full screen resolution is change that to, to that specific resolution that way you can use up all of the iPad screen if it's any higher resolution than that you're going to see borders on the screen which again I mean it's not too bad the graphics even looks a little bit cleaner but I mean I want to use the whole screen so no biggie also if your computer can handle it you might want to bump up the internal resolution to make the game look even prettier add some anti-aliasing and I mean, if it lags when you guys do this, then go ahead and dumb it down a little bit. No big deal. I'm also using fraps, by the way, just so I can show you guys the frames per second I'm getting while I'm doing this. All right, then. So I'm pretty sure I've explained everything. And like I said, again, if you guys have an ATI graphics card and you follow all these steps, even though it says that the game will not run in full screen, for some reason it just does on the Dolphin emulator. I don't know why it works. It just does. But let's just say you try to run a game like Bioshock or, or Far Cry or any PC game you have, it's not going to work. What you would have to do is go into the game settings on your PC and put it on windowed mode. And then you can play it. But again, if you guys have followed the steps I have given you so far and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you could just play the game as is. But anywho, let's get to the game. Let's try out Super Smash Brothers first. Go ahead and run it. As you can see, it's taking up the whole screen. Let me get this arrow out of the way. Top left corner, the frames per second. So you got the controller here. I'm not... As you can see, it's incredibly responsive. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing I did on the other video so you guys can compare the difference between an ATI and an NVIDIA graphics card. Classic mode. Let's go ahead and pick Yoshi. Yoshi. Let's pimp him out blue. Alright. You guys can see the Quite a bit less lag than on my other video, thanks to the NVIDIA graphics card. I have an NVIDIA graphics card at UTX 760, by the way, if you guys want to know. Oops. And like I said, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did in the other video, so you guys can compare the difference. That green bar again is just emulator's fault. Splash tops. Ready, go! Oh, yeah. I'm Like I said in the other video, all this action going on, still 60 frames per second, the only difference is that it just seems so much smoother even in the graphics cards because of that default optimization. After this, the other game I'm going to show you guys is um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. This is such like a pretty looking game and it runs so well on this emulator. And like I said, I mean, shit, this is freaking playable as hell. 
much more noticeable than the other one I made, the other video. Yeah, I mean, if you have an ATI graphics card, just watch my other video, it's still very playable. But again, man, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this is the way to go. Kind of Top left corner, you can see it's at 60 frames per second constantly. Oh man, don't die, don't die. Just want to see how nice and detailed the game is. Can I zoom in? Let's look at that character model. Very nicely detailed. Yeah. Alright, so you guys got a pretty good look at Super Smash Brothers, so let's go ahead and try out Super Mario Galaxy now. And escape. That's spelled up. I mean, I, as you can see, I have Donkey Kong Country Returns, but it just runs like shit. I don't know why, it just does. Uh, maybe when I fix it, I'll put a video on it. I actually have a save state which I'm going to go ahead and use right now. So we can just skip to the action. Right. So now let's do, let's do, uh, yeah. Mm, look how beautiful that looks. Now this game does not run at a steady 60 frames per second, but it's still beyond playable. Even a little glitch happened where you can't hear the audio, that's the first time that's happened. Pretty bad time that happened, hopefully the audio will come back. There should be music playing in the background is what I mean. something in the settings. Oh no, it's my life. My bad. Okay, for a couple more minutes, you guys can get a good idea of how this runs. And as you can see, it freaking runs beautifully. Go, oh, Yoshi. I'm just to the other one. Oh. Shitty. All right, well there you guys have it. That's pretty much it right there. Kill no song. Thank you. All right, go ahead and exit. So once again, that's Super Smash Brothers and Mario Galaxy 2 running on a Dolphin emulator, which is being streamed from a PC to my iPad. If you guys have any further questions or need more detailed instructions on how to do this go ahead and feel free to email me like I said all the links are going to be in the description and um, I guess that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching